Welcome, welcome to the CCAS interview. My name is Tamsin and I'm here with NG. NG, say hello. Yo, people. cool. Cool. You cool? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good. All good. Looking forward to this. Good. Wicked. Wicked, NG. So, NG, could you break it down for everyone and just tell them what you do? Who is NG? Um, for everyone out there that don't know, um, I'm a DJ stroke producer. Um, basically, yeah, DJ wise, DJ and um, mixture of uh, house music, deep soulful, electro, minimal tech. Come for the whole old school garage thing. Producer wise, people might know me as um, a producer to an underground tune we put out last year called Tell Me, which has cool. basically just been picked up by a major and it should be getting a full national release. So, DJ Stroke Producer, that's the main thing when it comes to music that people Wicked. know me about. Wicked, um, so Andy, how did you get involved with the MIDI Music Company? Um, MIDI Music Company wise, like, I told people this, it's weird. I, I kind of um, did everything a bit back to front. I basically um, um, went to university to study music and business. This is up in Northampton. And um, yeah, basically someone um, showed me about the MIDI Music Company. So I did a um, one year course called Arco, cool. which kind of, it did kind of fill the gaps of what they didn't teach me in uni from that like, business and just general kind of music tech and stuff. So um, yeah, that was kind of like, was just through um, introduction to a friend and um, got an ARCO course um, and then one thing led to another like was while I was on the course I was doing mm. bits and bobs myself and um, yeah it just brought me to where I am now Cool. So, yeah, yeah. I know about the Arco course. Arco course, yeah. We yeah, know, I we know back in. I can't Arco even say back 04, in the, it, 05, Time yes. has flown, it's mad. Yeah. Time, time flies, flown. man. Yeah. But yeah, definitely. You were talking about earlier about your single, Tell Me. Yeah. yeah. And it was recently in Music Week. Could you tell us um, about, a bit about yeah, that? Yeah, do you know what? It's been a long journey. Basically, we put out the song independently about a year ago. Um, like everything like, I must stress about this song it's all been like us like we ain't had mm. no support from no labels no majors mm. so like I produced a tune myself in my home studio um, everything from the marketing of it um, putting out um, the vinyls myself independently mm. um, I won't lie we did pass some of them to a distributor up north to cover mm. um, that um, other outside of London but um, yeah, the whole thing was independent created a lot of hype all the pirates were playing it yeah. um, sent over to One Extra um, BBC One Extra started playing it um, then it kind of like the next minute I was hearing like Rock FM up north and playing at Galaxy FM it kind wow. of just picked up and then yeah. from then um, there was a few kind of um, developments and things that kind of blew it up even more like we went over to Iron Apple it blew up even more but um, wow. I think really what topped it off as well was coming back um, it obviously picked up more for everyone talking about from Iron Apple and then um, it got into Music Week um, I think this is about a month or two ago now this is before mm -hmm. Christmas and um my phone just started blowing up, um, basically, um, yeah, everyone was talking about it, wow, like you're, mm. it wasn't even like, you know when you open Music Week, like, yeah. I know a lot of um, industry people read it, it's yeah. right, the very first song on there was yeah. like, a well, picture yeah, of me, yeah. and it's to tell me, like oh, this one, okay. so it was kind of, it felt, yeah, it was a bit weird, because obviously, I don't know, it, I was, that's the last thing I was expecting yeah. to be at the top of Music Week, so it was a good experience, um, yeah. but yeah. Wicked. So it just came from the underground, you did yourself and it's just blown up now. Yeah, there's um underground wise it's just between myself, um uh, my friend Versatile features on the track and baby Katie. Um mm. we had a kinda of, like a marketing plan written out for it, um so it's kind of a lot of thought got put into it. Mm. Obviously I studied on business and um business and music at uni, so mm. like, I put obviously a foundation to that like, mm. marketing a single. Um mm. But yeah, it was yeah. Basically, the other there's uh, people that have obviously supported the track on the way, and without their support, I must um, I have to thank all them as well. Without their support, it would have got to where it's got. From DJs, radio stations, um, management. Man, I've got, um, basically just signed um, to a management company now, mm. and I also contributed to um, the progress of the song. Mm. So everyone, ravers, DJs. Even my parents, you know what I'm saying, for yeah. that time because they, they've been moaning at me like mm. for time, and now it's kind of music's paying off. It's, it's, yeah. it's you know what I'm saying. I've got to thank them for their, their patience and support. So, but um, yeah. yeah, it's been a long journey. Yeah. Wow, yeah. man. I mean, um, aside from the music, because I was reading your MySpace today, yeah. and I know you've got concepts. Like, yeah. I, know you've got, I was reading about Urbans, yeah. and recently, before the interview, we, we just spoke a little bit about the cake concept. Cake concept. So I was wondering, could you please just break it down for me just a little bit yeah. about Urbans and the cake concept? Oh, I'll start off with Urbans, so obviously the cake concept comes from Urbans, but um, I was going through the garage, like the garage um, 
um, how can I put it? The journey, the fragmentation. Mm. There was a point that like, I did a dissertation on garage when I was at uni, mm. and like analysing like its origins all the way through to like its developments into wow. what we call now Gram. Mm. But obviously, there's a time it was kind of fragmented so much that I felt that to keep up with all of it, I was kind of marketing myself differently. Mm. Obviously, playing all different styles and with yeah. all the fragmentation came with different following. Mm. So, like, in order for me to stay on top of it, I devised kind of like a catch-all term, which is urbans. Mm. And urbans simply um, is, it relates to, like, my two main influences of music, which is dance music and urban music. Mm. Like, um, they're just general catch-all terms themselves. So, um, I put, like, urb urbans aren't put them together it should be mm. urbans but I say urbans mm. um, and basically that's kind of what categorises myself from the core and everything obviously everything surrounding it urbans doesn't really have a limitation musically wise but mm. it's just kind of to represent the fusion yeah. um, coming from urbans the cake concept came about which is kind of a long term objective that, that I do want to fulfil and um, it's, the analogy goes um, that it basically as I said earlier if you lack egg you might like it scrambled, you might like it hard boiled. Say for example, you don't like egg at all. And the theory is um, like you put it in a cake. Mm -hmm. So you're basically, it's a core ingredient to a cake, but you're presenting it differently. So you might like the cake, you're eating the cake, but really and truly you don't like egg. Mm -hmm. So the theory is applying that to music, like you might not like a certain type of music. You might hate like techno music or yeah. bashment or whatever. But my theory is if you bake a musical cake, present it correctly, the right club, the right people you bring, um, the lighting, the time of um, the time of the night you play the music, mm. then people can take to something they don't necessarily like. Mm. So it's all basically down to presentation. But yeah, urban's um, the cake concept is kind of like yeah. you play that musically. Wow. So that's a deep, that's that's a deep concept. Of, but do you know what? There's loads of other concepts, but it's just kind of people ain't ready for them yet. So it's yeah. one that like, everything's that like, kind of stayed. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, one at I'll a just time. get lost. So. Okay. All right, man. So what does the future hold for NG? Well, what was the future? The future is basically this deal. Um, it's uh, I've got all like the paperwork, um, independent solicitors. So the deal should be going through next week. When that goes through. Um, I can move on to my next project which will be um, a follow up um, at the moment as well I'm also doing a lot of remix work for the majors so okay. um, that's kind of taking up a bit of time but um, basically if anyone um, knows me well they'll know I've um, got this thing whereby I'd like to in five years or so, or so time uh, mm -hmm. become an ambassador of a movement within music um, so basically kind of pioneering like a new sound obviously we've had like jungle back in the day um, speed Garage, Two Step Garage, Grime, Dubstep. Mm. There were so many different like um, sub genres of music, but I kind of like to push my own kind of sound mm. with uh, production and club scene wise. Um, obviously, um, I've got the radio show I do on uh, Rinse FM, three W's dot Rinse dot FM. Fridays five to seven. I'm gonna keep pushing the radio show on that, mm. and um, also mm. looking to set up um, the club night. Um, I had a old, few old club nights I used to run when I was back in Union Northampton, so I want to set them back up and basically. Um, that's kind of all I should really talk about because everything mm. else is irrelevant. It all depends whether the f these things happen. So that's mm. kind of um, the core um, kind of next stages for over the next year or two. Right. So well, That sounds great, Angie. And I wish cool. you all the luck, all cool. the luck in the Many world. Thanks. And yeah, thank you for the interview, man. Thank you for Please. your time and interviewing me as well. So cool. Yeah. I've also got a big at the MIDI Music Company as well because trust yeah. me, like, they're, they're doing a lot. Doing yeah. a lot. So big up everyone at MIDI. Cool. Thanks, Angie. Cool, take care.